It's a term firefighters use, two words, fully engulfed. It's technical, but in terms of picture, this is exactly what they're talking about. This example comes from New York, New Jersey today. You got several buildings going at one time, and that's, that causes extreme heat, pressure, blood fire. You know, with the heat, with the takes, everything like that, with so many buildings going, and so it becomes very difficult. We have seven buildings at this time um, uh, being affected by this fire. We got about 11 firefighters that suffer from heat stroke or minor cuts. The fire began on South 20th Street and quickly spread to five alarms. The wood frame of the apartment building where it began lit like a match and started claiming building after building around it, seven in all. And from our aerials, you can see it almost reached yet another building. On the right, the chimney catches fire before the ladder company turned their hoses to it and put it out. My wife come and told me, so the house is on fire. James Coleman, in his 80s, arthritic knees and all, tried to evacuate but could not make it to his door. I just couldn't get there. I made it to the banister there on the stoop there where I said, and that's where I got there. With 90 degree temperatures, one problem would be obvious. Dehydrated firefighters started passing out. Some got medical attention. Others, like this one, plopped down and dug in. Then another problem we noticed, no water pressure from some hydrants, having to run hoses even further, which inspired the most in-depth reporter question of the day. Wait for it. Ready? Here it is. Yes, we had some water pressure problems. Describe what, how that impacted firefighters. Well, uh, what, what happens is it slow our, our time of putting the fire out because we can't get enough water to put on the fire.